Hello everyone, hi, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to another episode of a Doctor Who reaction. This is Red Live. My name is Matt. We made it. We're here. We're about to start series 12 of Doctor Who. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of excited about this because uh, people have been saying in the comments for series 11 because I, I, I went through series 11 kind of at the same time the series 12 was airing. Like one to one exact same episodes i think i could be wrong on that but it was it was essentially at the same time and people have been saying like yo this was a really good episode but serious 12 though serious 12 is really good so i'm just like all right I'm, I'm excited to get there uh so uh last time on doctor who we watched the new year's special for 2019 resolution uh, which was the first time that we saw Daleks in this era of the show, the first time that the 13th Doctor encountered uh, a Dalek. So I said Daleks plural, but it was just one. Um, and it was a pretty good episode. I actually did enjoy that episode a lot. And uh, I, even though I really like a lot of what that episode did, I think my favorite thing about that episode has to be everything regarding Aaron, uh, Ryan's dad, Everything regarding the drama, the, the drama of, of Aaron uh, was pretty good to me. I, I actually enjoyed that quite a bit. So that was my favorite part of the episode. Um, but everything in that episode was pretty good. Everything regarding the dialogue and, and the conflict and where we went, what we did, the dialogue. Everything was pretty good. So I, I enjoyed Resolution quite a lot. Um, I also want to apologize because I was kind of really sleep deprived when I recorded that episode um and i don't know if that affected the, the video in any way uh hopefully not but in any case i'm apologizing for it um uh, i've heard series 12 is pretty good um i'm not sure how good it is i'm not sure if it's a masterpiece or not i'm not expecting it to be that so don't worry about it but uh as i was going to series 11 people have been saying yo series 12 is pretty good and i'm like good i'm excited to get there um, so I, I think the general consensus is that it's good. I'm not sure if there are some complaints or whatever, but, uh, I don't care. And also I haven't been paying attention to that at all because I don't want to get spoiled on things. So I'm, I'm not following any Doctor Who, anything on social media or whatever. Uh, and I've, I've been doing my best at just avoiding shit, except for like comments in my own videos, because people in my comments are nice that they don't spoil things for me. But other than that, I'm pretty cold. Um, and the other thing I know is that I think this... I think this episode aired on New Year's for 2020. I, I think that's the case. I could be wrong. Uh, because I, I think I remember hearing, oh, Doctor Who's doing a, a, a New Year's special again. And I'm like, oh, cool. And then I, I, I thought that it would be something like Return of Doctor Mysterio, uh, where they did a... a uh, a Christmas special, and then the season started after that, and it's like, no, they just, they are just doing a season premiere that it is a New Year's special, and I'm like, oh, okay, then, I, okay, sure, so that's just the season then, and I think that's what it is, uh, I could be wrong on that, but I, I think that that's what I heard back when it was about to start, and then I unfollowed everyone, <laughs> because I, I didn't want to hear anything. But I think that's the case. So if that is if that is what we're doing, then we're jumping from a New Year's special into another New Year's special, which is actually the premiere for the season. Um, so I think that's what we're doing. I could be wrong, but uh, I'll I'll figure it out when I watch it, or I'll just check the wiki after I'm done with the episode. Whatever the case, I think we we're good to start. I think we can just start. So. Uh, Doctor Who Series 12, Episode 1. Let's go. Okay, that has to be really quick on the seconds to alien bullshit we've had in the show. Spyfall, Part 1. Okay. Okay, it's a two-parter. Damn it. Okay, and next time you've been sick though, appendicitis, right? That's why we ain't seen you. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the hernia before that. Oh, yeah, that was right. <laughs> and that detached retina. 
That sounds painful. You've been so unlucky. So unlucky. I like that we get to see. Oh, okay, the CIA is here. Fourth time I get a lot of secretive paperwork, and you're not telling me anything. Why do I keep losing my best probationer? It's all really good experience, honest. I'm not daft, and I presume they're with you. CIA evil again. All right. We will miss her. Okay, right, so five minutes until we talk about dead grace. Rocking the ominous look. Right? We need you to come with us. I would love it if it was unit, but I don't know if it is. I don't think it is. We reduced unit to a Brexit joke. The last episode, so I don't know. Are we gonna get attacked by the alien shit that comes out of the walls too? Oh, oh God. Right? Okay, the car's driving itself. Alright! I feel like they should have probably explained to us what we're doing in case that this should happen. In five seconds, die. I don't buy that that's how that works, but sure. I was having you brought to London, to MI6. You want us, we want answers. We're coming in. Finally we meet. You actually do exist. It's this guy. I've read the files, the doctor is a man. I've had an upgrade. Hi. Systems got hacked. Not exactly the best demonstration of MI6 skills. I have been authorized to speak on behalf of every security agency around the globe. We need your help. No agency possesses the technology to carry out one of these attacks. None of us understands how it was done, or even what has been done. Her DNA's been rewritten. Every strand corrupted and reshaped. She's no longer human. Just a the shell fuck? with a human appearance. Is she gonna live, Doc? There's nothing of her to live. It's like she's been erased. This is beyond any human technology. Oh. Okay. I was rather worried you were gonna say that. 30 darts, laser shoe gun, uh, infrared ID duplicator, calendar hacker, block breakers, rocket launcher cufflinks, retinal ID decoder, and... Uh, Tongue immobilizer chewing gum. How much more do you want? Yeah, yeah, it's great. Keep them coming, see? Yeah, bring on the bling. <laughs> they are not toys. Yeah, they're not toys, Graham. No, they're not, Ryan. <laughs> and if you say otherwise, I will shoot you with my laser shoe. <laughs> Look at this fucking children. I love it. Daniel Barton, born in Bromsgrove, now lives just oh. north of San Francisco. So they were it's investigating a specific ball. person. Search engine. Web apps, social, global mapping, advertising. Scientific and medical research, robotics, data polling, human analytics. Right now, VOR is okay. more powerful than most nations. Okay, so Google, but more. We're gonna need your best man on this. What do you call him? Horizon Watcher? Oh. Exactly. Uh, well, he, um, hmm. he left. I sacked him. The country has other organizations that deal with all that. Unit, even Torchwood. They're all gone. Oh, see, you took your eye off the horizon just as things were coming over it. I'm at MI6 with C. Crisis. Big crisis. Serious crisis. Big, serious crisis. Okay. And C says you were right and he's sorry for being an idiot. I did not use those words. It's a fish. I know. Fish. Can we please focus? Daniel Barton isn't just a powerful businessman. He was also one of our agents. It's possible he became a double agent. Or even a triple. Too far. Oh. Okay. The shit from the walls. That looks even less fun. What the fuck is happening? Saw the head of MI6 get assassinated. Yeah. Yes, when we were there. Wrong time, twice in one day. That's gotta make us targets. Yeah. They're coming through the daughter's walls, aren't they? Ram scream. On full hermit. Doctor, something's trying to get in. They can go to walls. Well, shit. The thought is saying safe, then I don't know what is. We need to go. Okay, you're out. Split resources. Graham, me and you are off to Australia to see my old mate from MI6. I say old mate, I've met him once, but he seemed very nice. We text though, does that count? If you say so. Yaz, Ryan, how do you feel about undercover work? Definitely. <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> rule one of espionage. 
trust no one. Not even yourself. Try not to panic that we're blagging our way on someone who might be dangerous. And don't obsess on our total lack of spy training. Yeah, don't obsess on that. Think how the doctor would do it. Swan in there like she owns a place. Big smiles, loads of chat, total confidence. We can do this. Why are you looking hey, so worried? I decided my spy name would be Logan. And now I'm worried I don't look anything like you, Jackman. <laughs> I am sure you recognize Mr. Barton. Okay. This is that took like two awesome. seconds. And this is Logan. I'm Logan. Uh, the name's Logan Jackson. I'm the photographer. I'm Sophia. He's nervous. Big fan of yours. Who's the doctor's contact? Uh, A dude with two Robin. guards. Egyptian? Mirrors? Have I seen this guy before? Sorry, you Oh. Oh? Oh. Code name? Oh. It was uh, a joke by the others at MI6. Whenever I came into the room to meet C, he'd go, Oh, God. Oh. I heard C was shot. We were there. Nearly got us and all. Is it aliens? Rule of Doctor Who is usually just like, yeah, it's aliens, though. It's always an alien. If you're already in the middle of all of this, how do you know they won't follow you here? That's a fair reasoning. So how'd you end up here, then? combination of inspiring computer science teacher, plus being one of the few non-white faces at my school. Spent a lot of time in my bedroom with my computer. I started small, okay. trying to build an online abuse, cyberbullying, all of which you've been accused of ignoring, haven't you? Well, I mean, this is proper journalism. I currently trying to figure out how to combat them. We did something great and it got hijacked. I get to see both sides of humanity in this job. Are you looking all weird? DNA profile. Only 93% human. What's the other 7%? Who is okay. this guy? Okay. So I think this guy... Is this what guy the guy who made... The, who was in... Tripped. Adventure in Space and Time? The voice reminds me of him. Do you have like a flashlight on your gun or something? Okay. Oh, got the fuck. All right, then. That looks dope. I like that effect. I like that effect. Okay, again. No, it's multiple of them. Are they Cybermen or something? Because they do have weird things on their head. They're all dead. What the fuck? It's like they're eating them. He has a force field around the building. I know, right? There's something in it's like they have a weird head shape. They have like things coming out of his head. To take this. To take this what? Hood? Planet. Country? Planet? Reality universe. You'll never. All right. Barton's back in the building. His past just got access. He's coming this way. I know you're here. He. Show yourself. He just does this shit every time, doesn't he? Oh! Yo, he's talking to the aliens. The project must continue as planned. We must defend. Ominous. He knows what they are. Yeah. Come on out. He knows a lot of no. shit. Okay. This is bad. Obstacle. Run. All right, I don't. I was gonna say I don't think she's dead, and now we see that she's not. Just in case. The fuck is this? Are they moving? They are absolutely moving. Is it just this? What is this shit? This is a good doctor. It's trying to overload my system. She's gonna appear here, isn't she? Yeah, she appeared in front of the doctor, isn't she? Is Yas no longer human too? Like, if you go through that process, they reform your... your DNA, and now you're just something else, maybe? What happened to you? No idea. 
nothingness. Nowhere. And I was totally alone. I thought I was dead. I'm never gonna let that happen to you. How long have you known the doctor, Graham? What's well, a tricky one to answer that. You see, things never really happen in a straight line with the doc. How much do you know True. about that? A bit. Our paths crossed very briefly once when she was a man. When she was a what? Has she never mentioned that? She did. Well, she was joking. <laughs> C told us that Barnes Company is more powerful than most countries. That can't be true. Governments these days are full of people who don't understand technology. So countries rely on outsourcing their tech requirements and expertise to private companies that transcend national boundaries. So yes. Single image, encrypted in alien code, trying to decode. What's that? Join the dots? I think it's coordinates. Like, everything that's happening, I'm just like, sure. <laughs> okay, a world map. Creatures across planet Earth. Oh, that's more than just a few. It's all spycraft. The alien spies embedded here on Earth. No, okay. That's not possible. Spies from where? I don't know. So the alien MI6 is here. Fancy a trip in the box? Okay. We're all going. I really, really would. <laughs> You're so happy. Is it the first time? Shut up. All right. A wardrobe hall. I think it's the first right after the karaoke buses. What do we need a wardrobe for? We need to dress up for the party. At least now we're all wearing suits. Fuck yeah. Shall we? It's it's like a weird suit that is also a coat. That's so stupid. I love it. And she's still wearing like short pants. So did you assassinate the head of MI6 yourself or just order it? Why is your DNA seven percent non-human? <laughs> You know a lot, Doctor. You're probably unhinged. I mean, who leaves their own birthday party? He's definitely guilty. So what do we do now? Remember our trip to the Great Callis from Bykov. Let's go! Let's go! Let's fucking start blasting some CC top into this bitch. And the one right. Oh shit, he has got a gun. This is bad. Why are we still chasing if he has a gun? Some bad shit can happen when a man with a gun is not shooting at him. Oh, he has no field of vision now. He's rushing to an airport, dude. Are we gonna get in the airplane? But we can't let him get away. Ow, it's not as if we're gonna just jump on a plane with him, is it? Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, run in, run in. 2,000 feet, Barton, one diamond. Hey, who's Come on, son! I need to close the door! Uh, got in. Okay, we're good. We're good, chief. Show. Where he's going? Never been good at sprinting. He doesn't know we're here. So. No, no, no. I read your file. You're a champion sprinter. Mm. Is that part fake too? Got me. Yeah, secrets. You best take a look out the window. How was your house out there? Oh, a bit wicked witch of the west, but you get the gist. Maybe. What? Maybe not. What's happening? No. Oh, come on, Doctor. Catch you up. You can do it. You are behind everything? Oh. That, that, that's my name, and that is why I chose it. <laughs> so satisfying. The doctor, I, I, I did say look for the spy master. Did or say that. Should I say spy master? Wait, you? Again? Look at that shit eating grin. Oh, I can be. Oh, very much. yeah. It's not really old. No! He's, he's, uh, he's a couple levels ahead of that. What? Master. Master. Really Master. Know, way, way, way back. I met him. I know. Years ago. <laughs> you killed him and took his body? Those are MI6. He was talking about him. Yeah. A man very close to my heart. <laughs> Tissue compressions, classic. Ambushed him on his way to work for his first day. 
shrunk him, took his identity, and set myself up in MI6. I have had a lot of fun. Look at this motherfucker. All right. He's not here. Living here. Yeah. Where's Barton? What have you done to him? Barton. I'm still on the plane. Wrong question. There's a lot happening right now. Man, do you really think that I would not make that sonic proof, Doctor? I know, right? Come on! Keep up. You need to follow this motherfucker because he wouldn't kill himself. So there has to be a way for him. Where's Barton? We saw him coming in. Called away before takeoff by me. Wait, what? Oh, the, the aliens are gonna show up now. What the fuck is happening here? I mean, a bomb set up in the cockpit of a plane. Like, what do we do? One last thing. Something you should know. Okay. In the seconds before you die, everything that you think you know is a lie. Not you. Finally. Okay. Are we all getting transported out or something? Just the doctor and him, I guess. Okay. You're gonna cliffhang me, aren't you? You're gonna cliffhang the shit out of me. Okay, you are in the same place Yas was, but like, what? where are you? You know what it is? You know what this is? Okay. A lot happened in the last, like, three minutes of that episode. We need to unpack that. So Homeboy is the master. Master's back. Okay, so... Okay, first things first. I need to make sure... Okay, so let's do this safely. Adventure in space and time. So if we Google Adventure in space and time, and then we go to... The TARDIS wiki. For Adventure in space and time, and then we need to go to the cast. Um... Where's the cast? And then... Where's the saying with Sasha the One? And... It is this motherfucker. Okay. So... I knew this guy because I saw him in Adventure in Space and Time. And the way he spoke, his voice, is what reminded me. And I was like, I've seen this motherfucker before. And it was Where's the saying in Adventure in Space and Time. Which was like the first thing I watched on the channel, by the way. But also, I've seen this motherfucker's face lately, and I didn't have any context for it. So I guess he's the new master, and that's why everyone has been has been putting his face around places. Because I've seen the... I think that if you go to the TARDIS wiki, I, I wasn't paying attention, but I'm pretty sure that if you go to the TARDIS wiki, to, like, to the side, there's, like, an ad or something... With the with the picture of the dude doing like the like smile and saluting, which is what he did at the end of this episode, when he revealed himself as a master, I've seen that. I just didn't have any context for that image, so now I do. So that's what that is. Okay, we got a new master. Okay, that's good. Um, he seems to be pretty good as a master so far, because he. He's like, yeah, 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 like, I like that. He's, like, childishly super into it. And it's... Okay, okay, here's the thing. He reminds me of... He reminds me of... What the fuck's it was... He reminds me of John Sims Master, for, for now at least, because John Sims Master was also like, yeah, 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 like, he was super hyped into the dumb shit that he was doing. Here's the thing, though, is that... And I, I think it, it fits better... For for this okay, what the fuck was his name? Sacha something. Sacha the one. Okay, him. So I'm gonna try. I need to remember that name now because he matters. Um, he masters more specifically. So the Sacha master reminds me a lot of the at least so far to the John Sim master, but I think the Sacha master fits better into this era of the show and the narrative for this uh for this era of the show because it's way more dr drama focused and more it, it is more serious and that allows for 
Okay, so he, here's a tip for storytelling that I've heard before, and I'm like, that's perfect. And it is, if you're making a story, it's like, okay, you have to choose if you want it to be something amazing. Um, not Don't follow this rule to a T to every story, but a lot of stories apply this. And it's, you either have an insane world with a sane protagonist, or, or character or whatever, so then there is a clash, and everything else is just crazy, but the character in question is not, and then the clash makes that interesting. Or you do the opposite and create a very sane world, and a, a very, very, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Plain world? And then you throw in a, a weird, crazy character into that setting, and that clash makes a really ma- makes for a really good uh story too so i think if okay so if i got his kind of personality uh cr- right which is reminding me a lot of john sim master here's the thing about john sim master is that he was still like crazy and just all over the place but everything around him was also crazy you know, everything about the setting where he was at was also crazy. So there was no clash. It was just, like, weird. So if you go back and watch, like, uh, The Sound of Drums and, and, and The Last of the Time Lords, there is this thing of, like, everything feels odd and crazy and not as drama-heavy as it should. I mean... Yes, when he's not on screen, but when he's on screen, it feels like we, we're watching a weird, different show where everything is just wild. In this case, I feel like this show is so grounded now. Because th- this version of the show, I said this before, but like this version of the show, the Chivnell era of the show, feels a lot more grounded, feels a lot more drama uh, focus and there are some silly moments and and silly pieces of dialogue that I enjoy, but the feel of the show is very different and it feels very. What is the word I'm looking for? Very grounded. But if you throw an insane character that is just like yeah yeah I got you I got you in the middle of that very grounded setting, it creates a really good clash. And I really like that. I really like that, actually. We didn't get to see a lot of it, because, of course. Because we we only had, like, three minutes, right? There's not a lot to see in those three minutes. But the little bit that we saw was really fun. Was really fun. Because it's, like, the the way the show is filmed, the way everything is written, the, the feel of the show itself feels grounded. But then you throw in this piece of shit dirtbag that is just, like, so... I don't know. It's the master. It's just fucking nuts. But it's not even a grounded master. And even... Missy wouldn't work in this situation, I don't think. I mean, Missy always works. But Missy in this scenario would work less than the the Sacha master. It's weird, but because because she is more deadpan and she doesn't say crazy murderous shit, but she just says it and just kind of doesn't care. And I love that. I love that about the Missy Master. I love, I love about that Michelle Gomez. I've seen panels with her and she's just great because that that's just the way she's like. And I love that about her. Um, by the way, this master, such a master, he needs to lose some, some expectations, man, because... Uh, Michelle Gomez Master is my favorite. She's so fucking good. Like, I want to see a doctor that is just like Michelle Gomez, has that cadence, has that, that mannerism, but is, is just not murderous. <laughs> so I want to see that version of the doctor. But I think she would work less than this version of the Master because this version of the Master is just like, yeah, 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 gotcha. And that's fits so much better into this setting into into the way this show is now than Missy, I think. I like that. I like that a lot. And I, a lot of what I said just maybe doesn't make that much sense. It's just based on feel. Um, but that's how I feel about it. And I, I think that it works really well because of that. So I 
I, I don't know if people like this version of the master. I think they might. Well, I've seen his face around a lot. So it, I think people people would like this version of the master. He reminds me of John Sim, but I think he fits better into this narrative than John Sim did in, in its own narrative back in, in, in series three and then in End of Time, I guess. But even in, in, in Dr. Falls, I, I think... I think John Cena was really good, but I think he would fit a, be a narrative like this one better. And that's what Satchel Master is making me feel. And I'm just like, yeah, let's fucking go. I like that a lot. I, I spent like, I don't know, fucking 10 minutes talking about this master. But like, I, I feel like we're going to talk about the master a lot. I really feel like we're just going to talk about the master a lot. Okay. It's so funny that they got Boris Hussein to be the master now. Because like, David Radley makes sense because they got David Radley to play William Hartnell in the documentary about William Hartnell and the making of Doctor Who in its early years. But then they got him to just do the first Doctor. And that makes so much sense. But now you got the dude who played Waris Hussein in Adventures of in Time, which wasn't that long ago, and now he's the master? Like he's, he's he's a big boy. The master is a big boy. It's a big name. Is is like the only thing as iconic as the master is the doctor. Like uh, that has like a particular actor uh, assigned to them because the Daleks are just trash cans and Cybermen are just tin men. The master is a person, and it's gonna have its own actor, and people are gonna look at them and they're gonna compare to each other and they're gonna be like, oh, that's really good or whatever, right? So the fact that they got the dude who played Warren's the same in Adventures with Time to just be that. It's like, that's a bold move. I like it because he seems to be doing really well, though. He seems to be doing really well, so I really like that. I like that at the very beginning of the episode, we get to see everyone's lives. So Ryan is just hanging out with his friends, playing basketball, and uh, they're talking about how like every week he's just like oh man i got a new disease you you have no idea dude and everyone is just like really again and then the next week it's like oh i'm traveling now and it's like really dude are you, are you gonna come and hang out with us at some point and it's like yeah don't worry um then we get to see yes and she's just dealing with her family and they're talking about her probation as a police officer, and, and she's like, yeah, I know, I know. And then she's talking to her superiors, and it's like, yeah, I have shit to do. <laughs> and and they go like, okay, but last time, all right. And then Graham is just talking with his doctor about his regular checkup, I guess, soon. He's, he's getting old, and he had cancer a couple years ago. So um, they're talking about that, and it, they mention good old dead grace again. I was like, how how many minutes until Dead Grace? Uh, five minutes. Gotcha. You know, um, but they all get taken by the MI6. Now, let me Google MI6. Okay, the Secret Intelligence Service, as I as also known as the MI6, is the Foreign Intelligence Service of the government of the UK. Okay, so that's what it is. Gotcha. So it is the British CIA, I guess. Or the British FBI. So, we have that. And they all get taken by agents of it. But then an agent, the agent that's taken them gets fucking shot by a lady. Who's this actor? I don't know your name, but I know you. Okay, so, they got a big boy actor to play Z, who got immediately fucked by 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 them aliens the invisible coming through wall spy aliens okay so there is this big there is this moment when ryan and graham are just so c is is showing them these are all your spy tools and they go like yo i got a shoelacer that's cool and then it's like these are not toys yeah these are not toys graham yes these are not toys ryan <laughs> and they're just like they're, they're such children, both of them. I love them. They're they're fantastic. I love how silly they are. Okay, so he gets fucked then. Okay, so 
for a second they were talking about their contact or whatever and what they did to their contact or something. And for a second I was like, wait, wait, I zoned out for like a second. What are they talking about? Are they talking about someone that I should know about? And then I'm I'm just like, uh, I, I, what? And, and eventually it's like, no, it's just this random guy that you don't know about. Should I know about him? I don't think I should. They said, okay, so they were talking about him as if everyone knew him. And I'm just like, I zoned out and I'm like, wait, are they talking about, I don't know, fucking Jack Hartner or someone? Like, I, I, are they talking about someone that I'm going to recognize? And then it's like, well, no, it's just this guy. Except that I also recognize because he played Warriors so Science. So I'm like, I, do I know this guy? But then it's like, okay, no. So that also didn't happen. Uh, but then he had this conversation with Graham when he's like, uh, what did he say? It was something like, oh yeah, we, I, I met the doctor and it's like, um, it was like, yeah, I hung out with him once when he was a man. And when he, the way he said it made me think that I've we seen him in like one story, like one random story. And I just forgot about it. And it's like, because, because it's the fact that his face is familiar to me because of Warriors Hussein. And I guess because of all the pictures lately. So his face being familiar made me think, have I seen him in a in an episode or not? So that made me doubt my sanity. Because I also have terrible memory. So whatever. But so that 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 really confused me. That really threw me off. But I guess it, it, I guess we're cool. I guess we're cool. So that that's just that's just him. Ryan and Yaz went undercover on a spy mission to fucking take down. I mean, not Jeff Bezos, I was gonna say Jeff Bezos, but it's more like Google at this point. It's just Google. Like, we, we've we we've dealt with Jeff Bezos, like, every time we have to deal with, like, a billionaire that controls everything. But, like, in this case, it's more like whoever is in charge of Google. Um, so, they go and do that. And people are apparently not... Okay, so this is a weird thing. We... Some weird aliens show up. Like, we are... Aliens that take... Okay, so it's weird because they they have a clear, like... Okay, so I'm going to talk in video game terms. They have, like, a clear model. Like, they're, they have a clear structure to their bodies. But they don't have any textures. The textures that they have on top of their body structure is dependent on what they come from. Like, I, I like that. I like the way they look because they're fucking around with the textures. So if they come out of, out of wood, then they are going to look like moving wood. That's like camouflage, I guess. So that, that makes sense because they would be like spice them. But when they don't do that, they, they just look like light. Just like white light. But they still have the same model. They still have the same body structure. And you can see that their faces look weird. Because it, it's like they have this like helmet. And it has like this thing there. And things there. And it has like a thing at the back. So it does look like a helmet. It looks like a fucking Super Sentai monster helmet. Um, and I, I like their design. And I'm very curious about what the fuck they are. And what are we going to do with them. Because the thing is that. we We've established that some people get taken by them. And then when we see them again. They are, they, their DNA has been restructured in such a way that they cannot even be considered human anymore. Um, so that's the way some of the, some of the top spies died and it's like, they're, they're not human anymore. I don't know what the fuck happened to them. So what I'm thinking is, and we also discovered that Mr. Google here, he's also, uh, only 93% human, 7% not. So it's like, okay, what the fuck's happening here? He, he's he's in league with the aliens or something, but what what is their deal? What do they do? What are they after? So, um, then, Yas gets taken by them when, when they're trying to spy on Mr. Google, and they do discover some stuff, but she gets taken. And she goes to this place that is, is like an alien forest full of things that just very slightly move like this. And there is, like, light to one side of it, but, like, there's there's not much else. And then electric currents drop out of them. They surrounded Yas, and then Yas got disintegrated, and she reappeared 
in where one of the light beings was trapped with the doctor and O and Graham. And then Ryan calls the doctor and goes like, I, I lost Yaz. And then it's like, Yaz is right here. She just showed up here. What the fuck happened there? I feel like they're going to have to tell us next episode what the fuck happened there. My assumption is that Yas is no longer human too. May, like, maybe not entirely. Like, 5% non-human or something like that. Because it, it, we see her being disintegrated and rearranged. So that makes you think that they, they made her body just different now. Because they, they just built her from the ground up again. So it's like... <laughs> I, I would assume that she's no longer just regular Yas. She's just like alien Yas or something. That's That would be my assumption. I'm not sure if that makes any difference whatsoever in the kind of character she is or in her capabilities. I actually don't think there will be. But I think that there's going to be a moment of like, oh shit, Yas is, is, is part whatever now. She's no longer fully human. And it's like, sure. I don't think that makes a difference, but I feel like they're gonna do that. So we discover then so we discover that Mr. Google has alien code in in some of his bases around the world or whatever. So we decide, fuck it, we're gonna pay him a visit as a birthday party and see what's up. To interrogate him, see see what he knows. So we do that and I like how raw and direct the Doctor is, by the way. That's, like, one of my favorite things. I feel like sometimes the Doctor is not direct enough, but I also feel like this Doctor, the 13th Doctor, can be very direct. Just going for the throat every time. Like, let me let me do, listen to it a little bit again. Oh, I can just turn on the subtitles, I'm sorry. But, like... I like how she just immediately goes... Hi, I'm the doctor. I'm a plus one. So, did you assassinate the head of MI6 yourself? Or just order it? And just miles? And it's like, okay then. Uh, I think you're in the wrong party. Um, and then she goes like, why is there an alien code embedded in the edge of your company systems? We want to know you're in like, a race of alien creatures. So, uh, <laughs> how long are they bank here? Why is your DNA 7% non-human? And the dude is just like, well, uh, 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 sure. It's like, how do you know so much? And how are you so raw with me? And I like that so much. So then we chase him. We chase him across a field. Uh, he shoots at us. And miraculously, that doesn't hit any of us. With motorcycles. I like the motorcycle chase, you know? I like that. We, we just need some CT top music playing in the background. That would have done it. So then we're jumping on the plane where he is in. And then he gets a phone call, which now we learn it was from O, also known as the Master. And uh, he gets off the plane. I'm not sure how he did that because the plane didn't stop at any moment. So he literally just like jumped off the plane as he was moving, which, which sounds like a really terrible thing to do, by the way. Because like, at what, at what speed is the... It's a plane. It's it's a plane moving before it takes off. I would assume it would be at least as fast as like a car just going through a highway or something. Like because it has to get through a specific amount of speed in order to take off. So well, they're okay. So they're trying to keep up with it by running. So about that speed, yeah. But he's also he also needs to jump away from the cockpit into the ground and that there is height in that so fuck it I, I i have no idea how he got off the plane he just did it okay just don't worry about that so then we got there and i like when he's like look out the window and his house is flying through the window too how did that happen how did he do that don't worry about it it's the master you can just do that shit i like when She's like, oh, and he's like, that that's that's why I chose my name. And he's just I like his shit eating grin. He's so happy. He's so happy to be this much of an ass right now. He's just losing it. Doctor, I did say look for the spy master. Or should I say spy master?
Oh my god, okay. Okay, so here's the thing. Wow, he's such an asshole. He's great. So the doctor goes like, I met O. And he's like, I know. Years ago. I know. And he's he has to sing. Like, I know. I know. I killed him. I did. It's like he's losing it. He's so happy to be doing this shit again. I love that. That's fantastic. So yes, he, he did kill O. The original O, oh, that person, and just took his form. Did he took his take his form? Tissue compression. How the fuck does that work? I don't think it will ever matter. Shrunk him, took his identity, sent myself up in MI6. Surprisingly good, it's Safkin team. Just throw them away, just like, fuck, it doesn't matter. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. God, he's such a child. That's great. He's just spinning in place, too. This version of the Master, we got him for, like, three minutes, and it already, like, cemented a very, very good, like, first impression and personality for him. So then at the end of the episode, he reveals that he ha is behind everything. He's controlling the, the the alien spies or whatever. And then they show up and transport him and the doctor. And the doctor shows up in this, like, in, in the green forest of alien bullshit that Yas was in earlier in the episode. And the doctor goes like, no, no. Just like, oh, no, 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 no. She, she knows it, maybe, probably. We don't know that. And then the episode ends. They cliff, cliff hung me. And then Yas, Ryan, and Graham are just left to their own devices in the plane whose cockpit has been blown up by a bomb and is now open in the air. Sure. Let's see what happens now. <laughs> Let, let's see what we do with that. You know what would be cool? You know what would be cool and fucking stupid? I said maybe Yas is no longer human. What if... Okay, what if we operate in superhero rules? What if Yas became... Uh, I'm trying to come up with the stupidest superhero name I can think of, but I cannot think of anything. But let's say Yas became a superhero and she can now fly or whatever. And she just grabs Graham and Ryan and just flies off the plane and just takes... Just like the ghost in, in Return of Doctor Mysterio. I want to see that. Fuck it. Just like turn Yas into a superhero. Do that. Just do that. Fuck it. If anyone complains Yas is not interesting enough after that, fuck that. Like, nobody will ever say that again if they just turn her into Spider-Man, Spider-Woman, and just, just do that. <laughs> okay. So that that's the dumb shit thing to say of the week. That would be really fun, though. Because, like, I'm, I'm trying... To, okay, so... What is this place where the Doctor is in now? The the alien forest or whatever? I have no idea. I, I have zero idea what the fuck that is. I have no idea what those things are. I have no idea what this place is. But it seems like the Doctor maybe knows it. Sure. Oh yeah, something I need to talk about is... How long has it been for the Master? Or what version of the Master is this? Like... I'm just assuming that this Master is a future version of the Master. Like... Concurrent with us, right? Concurrent with us. Because it can it can always be a past version of the master. Um but I really like So okay. At the end uh, so in Doctor Falls we get to see the end of Missy. And they try to frame it as like, oh you're not gonna be able to regenerate, you're gonna die here, and it's like, oh the master died. The master's not gonna die. The master's always gonna come back. Because it has to, you know? It's it's a constant in this show. As long as the show is going to go, the Master is going to be there. Dogs are going to be there. So I'm going to be there. The Doctor is going to be there. That's just how it works. So what are they doing with this version of the Master? Because, like, the thing about Missy is that Missy did turn, quote-unquote, good in Doctor Falls at the last second. And then she died. And nobody ever got to see that, which is kind of the point, you know, just like without witness, without reward. 
that kind of thing. So, uh, the doctor never got to see that Missy tried to go back to help and died as a result, stabbing herself in the back. Um, but, uh, is this version of the master ha after that or before that? I mean, I guess it, it is this weird thing because, like, Missy was good at the end of her run. But, like, I feel like after you regenerate, it's like, fuck it. All rules just don't matter. It just don't matter at all. You remember everything that happened to you, but it's like, fuck it. I don't care anymore. I'm just going to do whatever. And I feel like to the master, that's just like, you turn good that one time for, like, for like a little bit, I don't care anymore. Now I'm I'm this face now. I, I don't give a shit. <laughs> you know, I feel like that's that's the rules we operate on. So if we go by that, then it could be a future version. Um I really want to see a past version though. Like I want to see a version of the master that is before John Sim. I want to see a version of the master that is just like I don't know, fuck it before or after Eric Roberts, you know? just We still don't know how that works, by the way. We still don't know how Eric Roberts works, but we, we don't want to worry about that because the master, just like, fuck you, it's the master, just deal with it. But, like, I want to see a version of the master that is not current to us, that is a past version. Because it, it, it's going to be this weird dynamic of, like, I, from, I am from the future and i've seen your future and it's like god damn it man every time <laughs> but then it, it's gonna be this weird thing of like the master is also gonna see the doctor's future and then he, he, he they have knowledge of that going into their own future regenerate i don't know time shit confusing like i don't i just think it's cool <laughs> i just think it's cool that's the whole reasoning i just think time shit and interlasting time streams is cool so I would like to see that. I would like them to meet out of order. So that would be cool. But I'm assuming this is a future version. Sure. Um, I miss Missy. Missy was great. Missy was great. I feel like we didn't utilize Missy to their full capabilities. It, like, well, the thing about Missy is that she was the main antagonist for Series 8. And it was... Series 8 it wasn't that great. I mean... I enjoyed it more than some other seasons, including 6 and 7, so it was a step up in general. But I still feel like it wasn't that great, and, and the main storyline was kind of weak regarding the whole Missy and, and Dead in Heaven thing. But then she came back in, in Magician's Apprentice and Witcher Familiar, and she's just flexing her personality, and she's also quote-unquote good, but still chaotic. She, she's not good, she's just helping and chaotic, and that's great. And then she comes back for half of series 10, and she's chaotic, but trying to be good, maybe. Or at least Peter's trying to turn hair. And I, I really I really like that. I really like everything they did with Missy. So now that we have just we just have a piece of shit child master fact, it's just like sure, let's roll with that. You know what? Be bold about it. Just don't don't acknowledge whatever the fuck we did. Don't acknowledge the possibilities. Don't acknowledge the, the possibility of you being good. Just fuck it. Just say, just, just just go crazy. Just go crazy. Be unbelievably confident about it. Sure, that's fun. I enjoy that. I, I feel like that's what this master is doing. The such a master. I'm going to have to get used to that. We have a new master on the board now. That's weird to me. Um... Yeah. <sighs> Anything else to talk about? Just, just, this episode was just a constant, just like, I have no idea what the fuck is happening, man. I have no clue. But, uh, I am glad. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be here. Because I, I was, I started watching Series 11 when Series 12 started airing. You know, just like, that's how the schedules, uh, just, just combine. I mean, it did work out for the finale for Series 10, because I did watch uh, Twice Upon a Time on Christmas, that's when it released, and I, I was quite I was quite happy with that scheduling. But that also meant that I started Series 11 as Series 12 was airing, 
so the whole time I'm watching series 11, people are going like, yo, series 12 just did some cool shit, though. And I'm like, I well, now I can see that I see I see why. I see where people are being hyped about that, because episode one, just like, fuck you, here's some crazy shit. And it's also a first parter. And they tell you that right at the beginning. I like that. I like that right at the beginning, they go like, this is a part one. You're not going to get a conclusion. And it's like, okay, then I'm ready. I'm ready for some dumb bullshit to happen. So I I, I like that. I like how this episode feels a lot bolder than some of the ones we had before. Um, so I, I enjoy that. I enjoy this such a master. I really, really do. We only got him for like, I mean, we, we had him for a, most of the episode, but we, he wasn't the master until the mask came off. And then he was like, all right, fuck that shit. Yeah, it's me. Hi. How are you doing? You know, and uh, when he turned the master on, it's like, oh, okay, that's who you are. And and it, we, we only got to see it for like a couple minutes, but it was it was a great man. It, it was great. So I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying this version of the master. It's no missing, but everything is different, man. Like comparison, fuck that shit. We just, we just have to look at this and be like, yes. And that's how I feel about this guy. He's pretty all right. It's just weird that he's also where he's the same. Like, I'm used to seeing him in, the, in his dumb looking best. And just being like, oh, no, not there. That room's so covered. It's like, it gets too hot. And if it gets too hot, it, the, the fucking fire thing comes off. And it's like that whole thing in Adventures Place in Time. I recently rewatched Adventures Place in Time. So that's fresh on my mind. So that's why I was a little bit like... I, I do I know you? But uh okay. Um boy. Alright, that was pretty good. Masterful premiere. I can see how people were like, okay, okay, let's go right away. That that's a pretty good premiere. Um Yeah. Uh God, now I wanna watch episode two. Now I just wanna watch episode two. I don't wanna wait. I'm gonna. But I don't wanna. Uh, so, yeah, I guess that happened. Jesus. Okay, so, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think that's it for, for this video. Yeah. We're good. So, that is, uh, Series 12, Episode 1. Spyfall, Part 1. I enjoyed it. I really did. Um, I'm excited to see where we go from here. I'm assuming it's only a two-parter. I mean, usually it's a two-parter. So... And this was also one hour long, so it should be a two-parter only, but, like, I'm, I'm excited to see how that concludes. And then we get to see the rest of the season. Is the season still just ten episodes? Like, that sucks. I want my seasons to be a little bit longer than that, because it means more Doctor Who. But at the same time, I do know that working on Doctor Who and doing 12, 12 episodes a year, it was a little bit too much. Like, I've heard I've heard panels and, and actors and it's like, oh yeah, it was it was really tiring. It was it was just too much. And that's why pretty much everyone just does like two or three years and then they go like, alright, I'm good. Because at, after a certain point it's like I am done with this schedule. I don't necessarily hate the show or the producer or whatever, but it's like it, it's demanding a lot out of me. So it, if that is one of the reasons why they're doing ten episodes instead that would make sense, and I would actually prefer that over having more episodes, but we crunch the fuck out of production and the actors and everyone. So it's like, yeah, I would prefer to have a shorter season if it means that everyone just has more time to just, like, not die working on the show. You know, you don't have to just kill yourself working on the show. You can just, you can just do it. It's fine. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just I'm just saying random shit now, but we're done. We're done with this episode. We're done with this video. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, that was good. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this reaction to Doctor Who. If you would like to see next episode, it's already up on Patreon as well as full length. Check out the links in the description and I'll see you next time. Okay, take care.